Today we're going to be talking about quartz. Silicon dioxide, one of the most common minerals found on the surface of the earth. And I'm going to talk to you about why some people only collect quartz because of the tremendous variety of forms at, that you can find in quartz. And I'll just start with regular rock crystal quartz. This is a little one from Pakistan, of all places, but this limpid crystalline quartz occurs in many places in the world in special environments where you have this beautiful clarity and it goes by the common name of rock crystal and that's what a lot of people know it as and it is colorless quartz these are typical crystals in that they're six-sided so you think, oh, that's a hexagonal system, but they're hexagonal rhombohedral, and the sides are not all the same thickness. So that's one way to find the clear quartz. Another variety of quartz is called milky quartz. And as you can see, it is a milky white color. The color comes because there are innumerable microscopic water bubbles inside of this crystal structure. And they break up the light and give it this opaque milky color. And this is from Colorado. Many of you are going to be familiar with amethyst. This is from South Africa, from the area that goes by the name where they cactus, cactus quartz. Amethyst, if you look at the majority of amethyst crystals, the color is not uniform throughout the specimen. And that is because the color in amethyst comes from trivalent iron being held within the crystal structure of the silicon dioxide tetrahedron. Those iron, trivalent iron items are distributed irregularly and they are activated only sometimes. And so you get these variety of shades. Uh, Sometimes you get amethyst that is a deep, a deeper purple. This crystal is from Thunder Bay region, right on the border with the U.S., and it's from Canada. Another amethyst that's well known is from Bolivia, and this is called ametrine. It is a combination of amethyst and citrine. Citrine is, to most people's eyes, is like a very, very, very light smoky quartz. And this is a very rare to have the two of these together in the same, same crystal. So, Quartz also comes in a smoky variety. This crystal is from Lincoln County, New Mexico. And you can see it has very nice sharp faces and a good luster. The smoky color is caused by radiation. These are very often found in granitic pegmatites, which have natural radiation, and the quartz crystals are then colored this smoky color because of radiation effects on the crystal. This is another smoky. This one is from southern Poland. 
but it formed in the same environment, in a pegmatite. And the natural radiation colored the crystals this smoky color. One of the amazing things about quartz is its ability to include other minerals within its crystal structure while it's growing. And I have several examples here to show you. This specimen, which is from Greece, includes the fibrous minerals actinolite within the crystal structure. And the result of putting this inside modifies the structure of the quartz crystals and makes it very unique. One that most people will have seen is rutile inside quartz. And this is commonly found in Brazil, in, in two or three of the states in Brazil. And you can see these golden rutile crystals, which grew in a cavity. And then the quartz came in and crystallized over them. This is a natural, unpolished crystal. Numerous times you will see these, they'll be polished. This is not been polished. Also from Brazil, you'll see a clay, different varieties of clay minerals will be included inside the quartz. So they were there in the cavity before the quartz crystal ever formed. And the quartz incorporated it into spaces in the crystal growth. This is a special type of quartz that's found in numerous places in the world. This one's from Mexico. It's called Fenster or window. Fenster is a German word and it means window. And look at the windows into this crystal. What's giving it this golden color are layers, very, very thin layers of clay on some of the crystal surfaces inside. This is a very special form of quartz. And it usually comes from very rapid crystal growth. Quartz commonly is seen in geodes. This is a small hand-sized one from Brazil called an Oco geode. They come from the Ocos River. There are other minerals on top of it, but you can see these are extremely fine, druzy quartz. That's where the crystals are all growing together, and you only have the terminations and not the prisms. Now, this is the termination, and this is the prism. If you take the prism away and just have the termination, but the crystal is still there growing next to its others, you end up with this strange structure, which gives you the druzy amethyst like you see from Brazil and from Canada and numerous other places. This is a large example of a druzy crystal. So quartz also does an oddball thing. And this is another German word called a faden or string. You can see, if you look closely enough in these crystals, a string of milky quartz going through them. These crystals occurred growing across a split in the rock that moved 
and increased in width as the crystal was growing. That's a pretty amazing, that's a pretty amazing thing. So this is in a high tectonic area and, and the space that this grew expanded as the crystal was growing. Quartz also occurs in a cryptocrystalline variety called chalcedony. And this is an example of chalcedony from Indonesia. And they, it goes by the common name called bamboo agate. And it is hollow. So it formed over something else, which is now gone and, and took that form. Quartz can also replace other minerals. This, when it formed, was an, a group of aragonite crystals, which is a calcium carbonate mineral. It is now chalcedony. So that chalcedony has replaced all of the aragonite and created a pseudomorph or false form 